Well, in case you can't tell from that little bit, the speaker is sounding pretty terrible and it's kind of useless right now. Now you might be tempted to think that it's actually a blown driver, but I know that the drivers in these speakers are actually fine. And with just a little bit of research on the internet, I found out that there's a pretty common problem with these M-Audio BX5As with the capacitors going bad inside of them. So stick around and I'll show you how I'm gonna go ahead and fix this. All right, so I got the offending speaker here and it only makes the crackling noise when I play low notes. So that to me means it's probably not an issue with the tweeter, and if anything, it would be an issue with the woofer here. Now, what you can do is, a lot of times, if you're wanting to see if a speaker is blown, if you just push on it gently, it should move really freely, and there should be no kind of scratchy rubbing sound at all. So if it moves nice and freely, and you don't hear any noise, which I do not, and obviously my ring and all that is good and intact. I don't think the driver is going to be the issue. All right, so I haven't even gotten it fully apart, but I can definitely see the problem already here. And I'm not sure if this is just glue they used on this capacitor, but this one we can see right in here, maybe this is definitely an exploded capacitor leak right there. And this one is nice and bulgy. So this one definitely went bad. I would assume almost this one's bad too. So now in order to get at this stuff a little bit better, I gotta pull the knob off under these nuts and undo the last of these screws in here. I should be able to get this whole section out. I'm gonna replace these two right here and then see if that is all that was wrong with it or if we need to go further. Awesome. The bass is back, which is a really great feeling. I think at some point uh, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and just replace the caps in that speaker too, because they're just as old and they're probably pretty close to being bad. Anyways, it's always nice to kind of bust out a little project like this and get back up and running and fix something. But anyways, that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. But otherwise, make sure to subscribe and not miss out on any future videos, and I will see you next time. Thank you.